four progressive dinner tours, all kinds of transport. You need to have the program. Other, oh, other door. Is tonight the night you're doing everything? Uh, we're doing the progressive amazing race. The prog okay, That's excellent. It. Progressive dinners. Yes. What does the word mean? Progressive, moving from one place to the next to the next. Nothing to so, do with politics. Nothing to do with the politics. Are you sure about that? And the portion sizes are not conservative. That's why I'm they're, asking. They're very liberal. They are. We're not going to labour through this. It's a very democratic selection. I think the mayor's uncorked. There okay, we go. Now you've got him anointed. There we go. He's Good. been anointed. He's been accredited. Do you know which yeah. tour you're on? I'm on the pub crawl. Yes. Do you know where you're going? I'm going on the pub crawl. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, this is great. Know. Right, the walk. Nope, we're not doing the walk. We're going. What's the closest one? Table, food, and drink. Our dessert ready for the uh, progressive dinner. Oh, the progressive dinner. Yeah, That's they are. Right. We're trying to do all four progressive dinners in one night. Inspiration, quickly. Inspiration, we're looking for a little bit of our um, liquor infused ice cream that we make out in the valley here. So we're taking red wine. We're really proud of our wine program out here. We're taking a little bit of our own uh, cocktail ideas and making it into a, kind of like a mudslide. So we've got a Bailey's infused vanilla ice cream and a red wine infused vanilla ice cream with a little bit of uh, clove and cinnamon. This is a very complicated dish. Yep, um, so it's a hamachi crudo. It's a jackfish served with an avocado mousse, fresh radish, a little bit of crumbled pistachio, serrano chili, and then it's topped with a yuzu ginger vinaigrette, so that's an Asian citrus fruit. You need to know the chef. Thank you, my friend. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Enjoy. Good. Chef's from Sol. Bonjour, mon ami. So your dish for tonight that you're making, is that something you have on the menu all the time? Yes, we, uh, we make a nice presentation for the encore. Where do you get your sausage, chef? I make myself. I make that from uh, it's called the house. And uh, I'm the only one that makes market sausage here. I'm going to get some of this puree that you have. There we go. Mm. Mm. Lamb sausage. We don't get enough lamb in Alberta. No. I love it. Alberta brisket, but it comes with Yorkshire pudding. Come with us. Oh, by the way, um, it's at the Georgetown Inn, if you missed that. What's your favorite part of this dish? Favorite? Yeah. The Yorkie. There you go, you got it right. <laughs> I'm trying to get a little bit of the Yorkie going. That gravy. I think it's a gravy. Yeah. Hello, Hi. we heard truffle mushrooms. Uh, we have a, a nice strip loin done with uh, some truffle mushroom. There's a little, a little bit of potato latke and some tossed arugula on top. There's something missing in this whole conversation. The wine? There you go. The wine is very important. You can put truffle oil on anything, it's better. <laughs> This is what you need to know about the Wood Restaurant. In summer, there's no place on this patio because of that view. See that? So there's some other people here from Uncooked. Yes, no? they're all in the dining room, just over here. I can they're over there? Yeah. Good. We heard you guys have got some banana on the menu with smoked chicken. Indeed. So what we're doing is a, uh, a chicken and chorizo sausage nacho paired with a banana friere, which, which is essentially just a, a battered and deep fried banana. All right, here very, we go. Very, very tasty. Here we go. Mmm, that's just nachos. The way nachos has to be eaten, which means you need a napkin, probably, and a cold beer. Oh yeah. But since we are... Oh, we're crawling. We can have a cold one. What do you think? Well, you're more than welcome to if you want. Unfortunately, I'm you're on not duty. allowed. You're on duty. <laughs> awesome, not, not buddy. Thank you for sharing it with us. No, I want to do this because my hands are full of food already. <laughs> That's quite all right. I'm going to steal a little of this banana, and then the rest is all yours. Who came up with the banana idea? Ah, uh, that was my chef, Evan. It's the last stretch. We've memorized the recipes. Keep camel neat and tidy. So we're doing dessert. 
for the progressive dinner, we decided to go with a s'more tart. So it's a graham cracker base, um, and then it's a chocolate hazelnut ganache. It's done with a lavender balsamic, just to give it a little bit of acidity. And then we finish the marshmallow with a lavender honey. Wow. It's Camel on Coke 2017. We're signing off for the progressive dinner, and we're tired. And the last stop on our journey is going to be at Gauchos. We're going for a little kashasha, and we're going to meet a lovely lady. Her name is Caipirinha. Please join us. You're a stop on our progressive dinner. Well, that's what I'm glad you just came in, guys. Really good to see you, as always, of course. Indeed. Can I tempt you for a caipirinha, or are you rushing off? Well, we were telling people about the lovely lady called caipirinha. Yes, beautiful lady. Beautiful. beautiful. Modeled with lime, sugar, crushed ice, and, of course, the main ingredient, cachaça. You know that. Yes. Awesome. Absolutely. Good. So, why are we still talking? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, i moving. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Canmore Uncorked 2017, the progressive dinner amazing race. We're so glad you can be with us. I don't know why the heck Darren put straws in this thing every time. Cheers.